Let's start with the reading, Leo. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. We're going to look into the energies around you right now and their potential implications in the future for cross watchers. Keep in mind that energies go both ways. So please take the messages as the best resonate to you. Let's see how you are feeling right now. The main energy around you and what's coming up for you. And how it's going to evolve in the near future. Energy at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. Right here, as soon as I see this card, I believe that the message that we get from this energy is options. You are about to enter a phase where you will have to make a choice. You will have multiple options and you will have to decide what to take, where to go, because it's known that every time you go for something, you are um, leaving behind everything else. If you choose something, you are not choosing something else. And here we are seeing how you're about to enter this phase with multiple opportunities and de definitely choices that you will have to make. So let's see how this card relates to the overall reading. First of all, how you are feeling right now. So I see here already you thinking about the two options. Right here, we were talking about that. And with these two cards, I see exactly what is around you right now in terms of choices. Now, the Ace of Cups is showing me someone who perhaps you have met recently or you're going to meet soon and whom you will start with a very sweet and beautiful new chapter. And we will look into that. But on the other end, we have the Knight of Pentacles. And this to me is someone who perhaps is also going to be there wanting to reconnect with you. But the Nano Pentacles is a very slow moving energy, which means that it might, it might have taken them a long time to get back here, to get back to you. So let's see what this will be about as well. First of all, the Ace of Cups. This is someone who you met or you're going to meet soon. Someone who will open up their heart to you and will really make you feel as though you can be yourself. That's one of the things that I love the most about this card because when you get to the Ace of Cups, you get to a place where you feel exactly who you should be. And you feel as though you are in the place where you should be as well. So right here, there is just a very beautiful balance that it's making you excited. And that makes you feel as though this is a new love chapter. This person right here, I think, had their eyes on you already. This is someone who you might have met online. Someone who knows who you are, knew who you were before starting talking to you. And right now here, they finally are able to show you how they feel, to open up their heart to you and start this new journey. Now with Aces, we have the beginning. And usually aces wipe out the environment as it was before completely by creating a new journey. And here we see it right here and it's really, really beautiful. This is already looking very promising. Now, on the other end, we have that Nato Panicles that we were talking about. And as mentioned, the first thing that you see with this card is how slow this card moves. But other than that, you also see someone who is pretty confident and who thinks that they are going to achieve their goal. This person is coming back thinking almost that you are there waiting for them, you know? But I think from the Seven of Cups, looking at that Seven of Cups, that they will find a surprise and that things will be actually very different from what they initially thought. With the Nine of Pentacles, this is someone who is committed. This is someone who really wants to do this. But at the same time, they are not uh, rushing. They don't feel that urge because, again, they think that they have the situation under control. They're thinking about what they need. Their speed is given by the fact that they don't feel, as we were saying, any urgency. But... They don't understand that maybe they're taking way too long. And by the time that they get to you, you might not be interested anymore. 
And so let's see also if we can find out more uh, details about this energy. But first of all, let's look in the middle of the reading. Let's see what the main energy for this message is. What I see here is what happened in the past with this Knight of Pentacles. We have Six of Pentacles reversed, Six of Wands, and Eight of Cups. Right here, we have the first element, Pentacles, that links us to this person. We have Wands, how you are feeling, and Cups, what connects you to the new person instead. First of all, with this card reversed, I just see someone who was taking you for granted. I got a sense that that was the case already, but here we we'll really, we really get the confirmation of that. Usually, this card talks about an equal give and take, uh, doing something because you love to do it, without wanting to see it coming back to you. But because of that, you enter into this phase if you are with the right person, of course, where we have an equal give and take, and it's beautiful. But when this card is reversed, we definitely have someone who wants to take, 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 and never give. Not thinking that maybe one day you could get tired of that and just leave. They don't think that because in their head, they think that you're going to be there always. And so right here, someone is being selfish. And it doesn't have to be on a material level. We can also just be talking about emotions here. Support love, passion. And so I do believe that since you felt this, that this way in this relationship, you decided that it was time to walk away. And we will get there with the Eight of Cups. But with the Six of Wands, I do believe that you saw them this way and instead you wanted to feel a little bit like the Six of Wands as well. With the Six of Pentacles, this energy was not balanced at all. You know, usually this is not bad because it means that you're with someone who make you feel seen, who make you feel good, make you feel the passion and the desire that they have for you, who makes you feel confident, you know? But in this case, this is how they were feeling because of your actions. You were such a great partner and that's why they're coming back to you. But what you were asking is to feel a little bit of this as well. And you would have if this card was upright. Unfortunately, this was the only person on the stage. And the spotlight was on them constantly, always. Very little on you. And so I see here that this is how you want to feel with someone. And it's absolutely fair. You're not asking for anything major here. You're just asking for an equal give and take so that you can feel good in the relationship that you're in. And so I see right here just you walking away with the Eight of Cups and walking towards a new beginning with that Ace of Cups up there. Overall, what you see here is that you're just tired of trying. You want to walk away from a situation that doesn't make you happy. You want to let go of a situation that has a lot of negativity to it. And you don't know what else to try. That's why you decided at some point to just let go and leave all of this, this behind, leaving these emotions behind. So right here, I see that change, that transition. And this could be something that is happening right now and you're heading over the, towards the Ace of Cups. Or it could be something that has happened in the past and right now you're starting to see this Knight of Pentacles this person from the past starting to come back towards you, hence the choice that you will have to make. So let's see under here how the situation will evolve in the near future. Two major cards. We have the Tower and we have the Lovers. So you know that something major is about to happen in this situation. From what I'm seeing so far, this tower is mostly caused by this Knight of Pentacles. You see how the colors here relate to each other. And I see this person starting to plan to do something which will really show you the situation as it is. 
and which will show you who they really are and how they really feel. Now, I wouldn't be worried about this card at all because it's followed by the lovers. And so I do believe that what they're planning to do there um, aims to remind you that the two of you are made for each other. Now, we don't know if you actually are, but this is what they think. And they're planning to remind you of this so that maybe you will give them another chance or maybe you will fall in love with them even again. So let's see what they're planning to do here with the tower. That is something that you're not expecting from this person from the past at all. That's something that will really put you here, not knowing what to do right now. You were so certain whenever you went to this Eight of Cups, but now you're taking one step back to the Seven of Cups, not sure about to, uh, how to progress in this situation. And so let's see what this tower is about. Let's see what they're planning to do. And let's see how you will react to it. What is here that you need to know in order to really make a choice? So let's also look into this new person and trying to understand what the potential evolution of both connection could be if you were to spend time and energy towards one or the other at this moment in time. Let's look into all of that. If you would like to support the channel and hear the rest of the messages, just follow me in the extended video by clicking on the link down below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every week I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video to offer them a free personal 30 minute reading. Stay tuned for the extended preview and some more content made just for you. Welcome back to your extended reading, Leo. We have seen here a situation where someone is about to come back to you. But in the meantime, you didn't sit there waiting for them to realize the mistake that perhaps have made in the past. And right now we see how you moving on, you actually find someone really sweet, someone who is going to give you a lot of love and their love here seems pure. It seems that type of connection where you really have someone who knows how important is this equal give and take. Very different from the person uh, from the past that we were looking at here with the Nine of Pentacles. They're coming in with cups, whereas this person with Pentacles, they have a more self-centered energy, which is not always bad. But if you're not willing to share in a relationship, then you shouldn't be in a relationship at all. So what we see here is how this person intends to come back. And with the tower, this is not just a regular message coming in. This is something major which aims to make you fall in love with them once again. It's clear here that they don't want to give up on you. And right now they are hoping to reconnect with you on a very deep level again. So before looking into the new uh, relationship as well, let's see what this tower moment is going to be about and their intentions right here with this event that they're planning to create for you. 